one of the common issues I'm seeing on uh, the initial setup is the logo being oversized. So when you upload your logo, if you're seeing it overlap this page border, um, you're going to need to increase the header's height. Um, so just log in to your EPK. And um, go to your theme options. And under color settings, if you'll uncheck, recheck, you'll see that it expands. At the very bottom, there's a custom CSS box. Now, um, if you aren't familiar with the um, CSS classes, just load up uh, your home page, your EPK page, and uh, open up Firebug. If you don't have Firebug, it's, uh, it's a nifty little tool that will show you the HTML and CSS for anything that you click on on the page. Just Google it, Google Firebug right there, and it's go to the Get Firebug website. It's a Firefox plugin, so you need the Firefox browser, um, but that's available to everybody, and it's free. So grab that and uh, select this little blue arrow in the bottom left, and we'll click on the logo. You see where that is, and at the bottom here, you'll see all of the um, HTML. And if I hover over a tag, it'll show me that um, element in the actual live area selected. So see that this is encased in uh, a class called site name, and that's encased in something called masthead, which is also encased in something called top. And top is an ID as opposed to a class, so that's prefixed with the pound symbol. So when I go back to my theme options, into my custom CSS, I just need to change this little dot into a pound. That's the difference between an ID and a class. A class is a dot followed by the name, and an ID is a pound followed by the name. If I save that, after setting the height to 200 pixels, and refresh this page, the height expands, allowing for the slideshow to slide back in place. That's probably a little too big, so I'm going to go back there, change that number to say 150, save those changes, go back to the home page, refresh, and there. So I can just play with that for a bit. I'm going to go down, say 125, save those, refresh, and there. That's a, that's a better fit. And this logo has a black background. Uh, I see that there's a background image that's been uploaded. So if I go to the general settings of theme options in the back end of the EPK, um, I, sorry, uh, color settings, background image, there it is. So um, I think I could remove that URL upload a new image. I'm just going to remove it because I think that the black logo should probably sit on a black canvas like that. It's a little better. Um, there's a little bit of a shading difference and that's because we're not using an absolute black so I'll switch that to like 000. Click OK. Go back to the bottom. Save all changes. Back to the home page. Refresh. And there. That blends in nicely. Um, this is just another EPK hosting.com website. I'm going to remove that. Let's go back to the settings tab at the very bottom and just erase this there, which is the uh, tagline for the site under general settings for your account. Save those changes. Go back here, refresh. That's gone. And I kind of like that. Um, yeah. And another uh, component of the header would be the navigation bar. So by default, uh, your navigation bar is uh, controlled within theme options. And if you look over to the right, there's a tab called navigation settings. So in here, I get to essentially check off all the things that I want included. Um, and if you prefer, there's a drag and drop interface, which is the very first option called WordPress 3.0 menu. If I enable that, it disables this. I'll save those changes. 
going to go back to my page refresh and it'll likely just be gone. Yeah. So it's then moved over to the appearance slash menus uh, section over here. And you just have to create one. So we'll call this main menu. Create the menu. And then we'll get the um, theme locations drop down. So just assign main menu to the main menu. Save those changes. And I can throw in whatever pages I create or custom links here. So um, Alexa Borden, she, let's see what she's got. Alexa Borden. Uh, she's got a MySpace. So let's go over to the MySpace. And we'll grab that URL. Close that up, and we'll add a custom link to our MySpace. Call it MySpace. Add that to the menu. That's there, and she's got categories which would be part of the posts under here at the top. Posts would be all your news, your blogs, uh, anything that's dated, and your pages would be um, like your bio store page or any sort of other page you can think of, a contact page, what have you. Um, for now we'll just go with the sample content, so add to menu, add to menu, save that menu, then I'll go to the home page, and there's our menu. Now if you wanted to create drop downs, just go back to the menu section and just indent them a little bit. So I'll make sample page a sub to MySpace. I'll open the site in a new tab. And there's the drop down. Right? If I want to make uncategorized child of sample page, you just that a little further. Save that. Refresh. Now we've got just the one and another fly out. So really easy to play with. You want them all to just be in the root level. Just back them up. Save menu. And there are no drop downs. Have fun.